Hi Collective and welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. This is a collective timeless reading. I trust that when you come to it, uh, you'll resonate with this or parts of it. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If at any time you guys resonate, go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. And especially if you're a regular here, that will really help me connect and uh, get the readings to be more specific for you. Um, you guys, it's my birthday today, so I'm really excited. Um, so I'm recording this on May 18th, 2023, for those that want to know, but it is also um, a timeless reading. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it with my blessing and prayer. Everything is still 20% off on my website. Link is in the description box below. Just use the code Taurus at checkout, um, and the sale ends on May 22nd. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for the collective that will tune into this reading. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher wisdom and knowledge into what karmic cycles soul lessons and generational curses they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I saw this in a few other sign readings and it's coming through again, but a much broader message. There seems to be, um, this is a, of course, we know that we're, if you're tuning in, you're on a spiritual journey or else you wouldn't be here. Um, there's a phase right now where what they're showing me is it's a, it's like a broadening of perception and it's, it's a broadening of perception, belief and understanding. And then it's a pinpoint of exactly what beliefs and perceptions were programmed into you at whatever point in your life that are false and that have kept you blocked, stuck, and, and, and unable to expand. One of them that keeps showing up in other readings and that Spirit is showing me again right now has to do with religion and a lot of the false knowledge that is in religion that is actually opposite from the truth and it's to keep you stuck. The purpose of it way back when was to hide the truth so that they could gain power. And so somebody here is learning a lot maybe about what's been hidden from them and now finally seeing the truth and it could be shocking. I remember that part. I remember that point on my journey. It is shocking and it does change you, but it changes you for the better. Just stay close to God throughout the process. Pray and meditate and you'll receive the truth. All right, so let's see what's coming through for the collective, please. I can't make this up. Veiled, number 38. What's been hidden from you? What's been behind the veil? All right, so the number 38, which is how old I am today. Um, so the number 11, let's take a look and see. Uh, all is not being revealed at this time. Is someone around you hiding or holding back information or an aspect of themselves? Please use caution in proceeding. Or perhaps this mask is inviting to you to be more protective of what you share. Draw another card for clarity, which we will. You can meditate on the mask to achieve altered states of awareness and encourage hidden abilities to rise to the surface of your consciousness. Pray. If you are asking for something to be revealed to you, if that's what you've been praying for lately or asking to see the truth in regards to a person or a situation, this is spirit's validation that somebody is not telling you the truth. There is an illusion that is around you and I feel that you may have spiritually sensed this illusion, but you didn't have physical proof. At this point in the game, how do I say this spirit? At this point in the game, on the spiritual journey and the realization, recognition, and knowing 
that we are ascending to higher levels of frequency um, as a whole, there has to also be an acceptance and an understanding that a lot of the truth that you're going to be receiving now is not going to be physical and tangible. It's more than likely 60% of the time is what I'm seeing in my mind's eye going to be a metaphysical truth there. And I say 60% or spirit says 60% because they're showing me that we're still ascending and, and transcending and transmuting. And they're trying to get us into the element of always receiving our guidance from within and trusting that that is the truth. And the only way that you can trust your guidance from within to know is it from God or is it from is knowing your relationship with God. How often do you pray and connect with him? Are you protected? Do you know that this is a priority in your life? If you don't have a very good relationship with God, then I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably safe to say that a lot of your thoughts don't come from him or his angels, right? It's going to come from the other side because you're not protected, so you're easily infiltrated. Um, and I'm not saying that that's you collective. I'm just trying to give somebody an example if they're not sure how all this works. If you're already aware of how it works, thanks for listening to me spiel. All right. So let's see some more in here for, for Veil. Death, the number 36. And then you have full moon on the bottom, the number 29. So... This is coming to an end. I feel where you haven't known the truth or where something has been closed off from you, that's changing. That's coming to an end. There is definitely an awakening that's taking place here. Stuff is going to be fully revealed, especially with this full moon. Again, death and full moon. So we just had a Scorpio full moon. And so with this, with this Scorpio full moon here, a lot was removed and now a lot is going to be revealed. What's been hidden from you is coming. All right, the noticeable end of a cycle or situation, grieving or mourning a loss in order to heal, it is time to watch the old way leave itself in the past. Allow feelings of grief or sadness to move through you with ease. Meditate on this when you wanna honor an ending, a loss, or letting go in your life with grace. Without death, there is no life and vice versa. All right, whatever this is, collective, you have the number 10 i'm sorry nine and then 11 twice okay so this lets me know that you're on the right journey that i'm collecting to a collective who's been actively working on themselves but i feel like this one thing has been the hardest for you to fully understand and accept because it seems like there were so many hidden aspects to it right so many hidden truths things that you didn't know things that you didn't understand and that's all currently being revealed to you and if it hasn't been revealed to you yeah oh wow if it hasn't been revealed to you it's about to be set there's a key a truth that's coming in that's going to give you um a level of strength and courage that you didn't know you had but you are on this journey of growth and ascension Messages, please, for the collective in regards to their current situation. So you have the hanged one and the eight of wands. And I'm actually strongly being told to go like this. Eight of wands is the current energy and the hanged one is in the past. Too many cards, please. All right, the collective's current energy is the moon. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Outside energy towards this collective, please. The high priestess. Okay, so strong Pisces energy here. Three cards in a row that represent Pisces. Your challenge for this collective is the nine of wands. And the outcome is the king of swords you have death again on the bottom collective scorpio energy here death three of pentacles ten of pentacles seven of wands 
the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. For a more specific detailed reading, book a personal reading, because this is for a collective, this is pretty broad, but I'm gonna tell you what I see. There may have been an actual death inside of a family unit here, okay? Um, there's an ending and a transition that's taking place inside of a commitment, inside of something that is a strong foundation and investment. I feel like there was extra people involved trying to give advice. There's like someone here who made it seem like they were minding their own business, but they weren't. They were trying to dictate to somebody how it should look, how it should be. And the advice that they were giving It just wasn't for this situation, right? It was the wrong, the advice may have came from the right place, but it was the wrong advice for this situation. And so somebody was fighting against something that was being brought to them by God. Somebody was fighting against illumination. Somebody was fighting against healing and blocking their own happiness and then couldn't figure out why it wasn't growing and why something was on pause and why something was taking so long to get to them. And it was because they kept investing into situations that were empty and fighting with the sun, fighting with the situations that were the most full, the ones that were gonna help them, the ones that were gonna lead them to victory. This also could be other people trying to prevent this person from getting to that point. Because I do see something like within a community. There was somebody here who was giving the wrong spiritual advice to somebody as well. Okay. That's coming to an end. Or that's being found out. Spiritual narcissism at its finest. All right, you have the Eight of Wands. There could be somebody that's leaving their entire community behind because of what they're finding out, what they're discovering. And you have the Eight of Wands. I feel like this energy collective, this is a current energy of the situation. Somebody's trying to get out like get out of dodge you see how these wands and i'm looking at these wands as like either somebody's intentionally sending negative energy towards another person like there's all of this stuff and it's flying right over this person's head and they're on a motorcycle trying to get past it like they're trying to get away before this blocks them before it hits them and they're trying to just get out of dodge clarify this eight of wands Yeah, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles. You're going to have a decision to make collective because this person, I think I'm going to sneeze, forgive me. Okay, there is somebody currently that is traveling or in a rush to leave a really toxic situation and they're running towards this queen of cups and this king of pentacles. And I almost feel like this is one person. I know it's showing up as a queen and a king, but how spirit is showing this to me is this is rep representative of one person who's very loyal, committed, comforting, nurturing, has the ability to heal, has the ability to understand. This is how somebody sees you collective. And I feel like somebody's seen the truth or discovered something and they're on their way rushing towards you with some type of reconciliation and let's you know because they're they need you this is somebody who needs whatever it is you have to offer like they feel like you can help them yeah look at the words on here counseling support safety protectiveness so somebody's running from a situation right now with this eight of wands moving away from a situation that's causing them just drama and they're rushing towards you. 
in the past you have the hanged one so this could be somebody that you're not communicating with because i am just feeling silence here with the fool the seven of wands and the ace of wands and then you have the nine of swords nine of cups four of wands okay and then the hanged man again yeah this is something that's been on pause because this person was going within but i also feel like this person was um not only dealing with combativeness with it within themselves, but this is an energy of somebody having to be defensive in regards to the decisions and the choices that they're making in this new beginning, this leap of faith that they want to take. This is them surrendering, okay? So there's somebody here who's looking for freedom and who's surrendering and, and releasing after a difficult time. And there may have been others around them that didn't really agree but it didn't matter. This is what was inside of them that was calling and pulling them. And it creates this eight of wands, this rushing into this new beginning. After this pause, it's like all of a sudden the light bulb goes off. All right, you have the moon as your energy. I don't get like really somber energy from this for you collective. I do feel like you're kind of curious right now about what's going on. I sense that I'm connecting to a collective that is um, well-versed <laughs> in spiritual work, well-versed in connecting with their emotions. Like there's not, I'm not sensing fear with this moon because sometimes there's fear that comes with the moon, right? Fear of the unknown, but I do feel like you're in this element of wanting everything to be revealed, right? You're just kind of waiting for it to be revealed. The Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, you don't see something coming towards you yet. You're going to have a decision to make. Wow. The Five of Swords, the Devil, the Nine of Swords. You cut something out and off of your life. Like, no more. So you know that something is going to be revealed and come to you because of this um, win that you've had over the devil, this karma that you've closed out. I think that in your liking, this may not have happened as quickly as you would like, right? You still kind of feel like you're waiting for this lesson to come to an end because you're, you, you, let me clarify that. You've learned your lesson, you've cut off things, but you're in the in-between phase where nothing is happening. So you're like, what's going on? Um, I also feel like because you didn't have that physical, palpable, tangible truth that we talked about in the beginning, it caused you to go back and forth on which decision to make and which direction to go. Okay, so you may have been in your emotions recently about releasing something and going in a different direction, but you're at the, the point where you want to take control or not control but co-control co-pilot with the divine because you want to be on your divine path you're like i'm tired of the cycles i'm tired of the drama and the bs okay but you may be needing to do a little bit extra deeper work here that's why the moon is here so that you can gain some type of flexibility within and spiritually in regards to like your self-discipline and your willpower. And so while you're in the midst of this, something is gonna come in out of nowhere. Because you have the high priestess here. This outside energy is, is definitely not, is they're being secretive, they're hiding something from you. What's with this high priestess? What's behind this high priestess, please? For the collective, what's the truth behind this? Strength, the star, the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, wow. You're not expecting this and it's really truly gonna come out of nowhere. There's a hanged man again, the moon. So, there's rewards that you don't see coming. You need more information, okay? You may feel like something has ended. It's not ended, it's coming back around. This person is being put back in your path by the divine. I'm not sure why yet. Let's see if we can figure that out. But this outside energy, the high priestess and the star, what's being hidden with this is somebody's like 
really gained a lot of inner power here, a lot of inspiration, a lot of rejuvenation. Faith has been restored in this person. And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, this is somebody who has really gone through a growth process here. And, and is really trying to persevere through their own darkness. But for you, you don't see anything. For you, you see nothing. Like it's quiet, it's silence in the outside. So you think nothing is going on and really there's this major transformation taking place. Your challenge is the nine of wands. Somebody here over worries and hangs on to things. Temperance, yeah, bringing balance to anxiousness, to depression. Seven of swords. I feel like collective... This is, I'm connecting to somebody who is the lesson here, the soul lesson. And this is going to sound backwards because, and I remember when I was at this point in my spiritual journey. You can't worry about if somebody is doing you wrong. Let me explain. The more we worry about if somebody is doing us wrong, the more we'll never see it. The more our spiritual discernment will be cut off, the more we won't be able to see something clearly. Worrying about it happening creates an environment and an energy where we put ourselves in situations of trauma over and over because our mind is telling us that it's happening. Um, and so there's this need to bring balance, harmony, patience, peace within to this fear that somebody is trying to scheme you or get over on you with the seven of swords here. How do I do that? When you have a full relationship with God, when you know his word, when you know who and how he behaves and how he treats us and talks to us, when you know his grace, his mercy, his love, you won't have to worry if someone is doing you wrong, because you will be so connected with your creator that you'll be able to see it before this person even has a moment to realize that they have showed you who they are because you'll sense and see that energy with your spiritual eyes. But the more you focus on something, the more you tell the energies in this universe that that's what you want. So if you're focused on someone lying to you, they're lying to me, they're lying to me. I think they're lying to me. The universe is always going to put you in a position of thinking someone's lying to you. They're not going to show you the truth because you're telling the universe they're lying to me. I think they're lying to me. Okay, so that's where you want to be. Prayer and law of attraction works in a way much different than that. But in this case, this isn't about law of attraction and prayer. This is about shifting your mindset off of what could be or what might be based off of what you've experienced in the past so that you can see what actually is in the now moment. Stop trying to look at everything from the past or in the future. You have to be able to know exactly where you are right now. Clarify this, please. And so it, I do think that you're trying to do that because the temperance is here, but it's just proving to be a challenge. Yeah, death. Okay, because this is a transformation, letting go, allowing yourself to walk away from certain situations, allowing things to be released, allowing things to change. Your outcome collective is the King of Swords. There's some type of conversation and truth that's coming into you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, it's this Eight of Wands person. The world, the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Somebody's making their way back to you. Oh my gosh, judgment. You thought this was over. You thought this was over and it's not. Somebody's making their way back towards you. Judgment is here and they're literally coming in to tell you the truth. This person feels whole 
when they're with you. This person may have a hot temper. They may kind of seem a little bit rebellious and, and charming. But there's something about you, Collective, that restores balance inside of this person. It brings them harmony and fulfillment with this world card. And I don't think they may, I don't think they've expressed that to you before. And they feel like they've betrayed themselves. This is somebody who does not want to bear the burden of loss with you. Why? Because they've seen the truth. They've seen the truth. So veil and death, something is being restored renewed replenished and rebuilt this could be a kingdom spouse which would be a divine masculine and divine feminine coming together all right let's do um let's do piles but let me pick let me pick a deck for you which one do i have we should do a fun one and of course i don't know where my fun ones are all right let's see let's just do these ones sorry about that you guys all right so go ahead you guys think of your question if you want to pause the reading right now to think of your question go ahead i'm going to pick three cards piles one two and three collective you can pick more than one if you want to nothing wrong with that or you can choose all three and see how they fit into your your story but if you want a definitive, definitive answer on something, pick one, two, and three. If you picked pile number one, surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. If you picked pile number two, star family, you are a part of a team of souls. Call in support. And if you picked pile number three, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. This is a kingdom spouse that's coming in. This is a divine masculine, divine feminine that are coming into union. So for some of you, if you're not at the point yet where you're going to be able to understand going through all of this crap with somebody and then forgiving them and starting over, it's not for you. This is um, a different type of connection that I'm connecting to here. Um, and this is definitely a divine connection that's going to, um, it's a twin flame. It's a twin flame. It's a kingdom spouse. These are two people that are going to come together and somehow they're going to bring balance and change the world with their light and their truth. All right. I'm sending you much love. Bye.